Club with volunteers wrapping books and creating toothbrush and toothpaste kits for our annual toy shop on December 8th. The doors open at 10 o'clock in the morning and close at 5 or when we run out of toys. The address is Stanley British Library School Gymnasium at 350 Quebec Street in Denver, Colorado. I believe that literacy is very important to kids and everybody in our community and if you put a book in the hands of a child you can't take that away and so adding a book this year is something that I'm very excited about and will help change the lives of these children. The toothbrush and toothpaste gifts are also new. What we've learned is the families that we serve often don't have access to dental health care and things like that. They don't have their toothbrushes so we are providing new toothbrushes to every child that comes to our Last year you served 2,000 kids. What's your goal for this year? We will serve 3,000 kids this year and we'll provide all of those children with a new toy, a stocking stuffer, a book, and a toothbrush and toothbrush. So only new toys? Only new toys. Okay. And you're still looking for donations? We are looking for donations. We accept any new toy for boys and girls ages birth to 18. We also accept monetary donations. If you pick up a new toy for us, you can drop it off at any of the amazing drop-off locations we have from Fort Collins to Colorado Springs and all of those are listed on our website. Um, Dolls for Daughters is an organization that I created in memory of my daughter Kinsey, who was still born five years ago. And in a way to honor her and um, deal with my grief, I started collecting new dolls to give back to kids in our community. And after doing that for two years and realizing how rewarding it was, I turned Dolls for Daughters into a nonprofit, and we now provide new toys for boys and girls every December. One of your charities is Dolls for Daughters. That's correct. We support Jessica and Dolls for Daughters for the last six years. Okay. And you've got a bunch of volunteers upstairs. We're downstairs at Jackson's downtown, across from Forest Field. You've got a bunch of your members upstairs. Up into the wrap books and toothbrushes and toothpaste and that sort of thing. Yeah, about 30 to 30 volunteers upstairs doing that. They wrap a thousand books and probably a thousand bags of uh, dental products. Yeah, that's what we We've been uh, hosting the Rocky Mountain Gator Club for 17 years. I assume you've become a Gators fan over here? We, uh, I've been an adopted Gators fan. I, I grew up in Wyoming, so uh, lately I haven't had too much to cheer about with my team, but uh, all the Gators fans and uh, the friends we've made over the years, it, it makes it impossible not to be a Gators fan. We're more than happy to do this. We, uh, we enjoy being able to help out and uh, give what we can, and uh, you know, it's a great cause and we're happy to help out.